जननीम शारदा देवी राम कृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु देन ऑल्सो दो डस्ट मेक द होम ओ मिस्टिक पावर ऑफ कुंडलिनी इन द फोर पेटल्स ऑफ द फ्ल ऑफ दैट फ्लावर एंड इन वज्रासना सिक्स पेटल्स एट द नेवल द सेकेंड वन इज द स्वादिष्ट हैज टू बी टेकन विद द सिक्स पेटल्स ऑफ द वज्रासना हियर The four petal has to be taken with the previous line ending mula dhara. The six petals, the four petal flower, and in the vajrasana six petals, you are there in the mula dhara and in swadhastana. It is six petal, little more consciousness. Hmm. When we are indulging in any kind of enjoyments. I am more consciousness than in mula dhara when I enter into sleepy moods of existence. I feel lazy. I feel sleepy. Then you can see there is no manifestation of consciousness at all. I am becoming dull and dull, less consciousness. Uh, when I am enjoying going for play, football, this, that, and all, hockey. and we see lot of consciousness and when i am clinging to life or taking food still more conscious i am because more of sense organs are involved in all type of enjoyments the participation of senses are very little though karmendriyas work working in enjoyments the sense organs of perception are not a much involved in case of uh, the food and clinging the flavor of the food that i when i take eat the food just a seasoning of upma knows how it creates a urge you see i become immediately conscious when i meeting on the tongue hmm yeah the hot things the sweet things how much uh, how much i react to it how much of god this is the maximum consciousness I, when i become sick i want to survive i want to get rid of the sickness i become a small cut in the body i become so much conscious yesterday i saw from us the children have come they are not, unable to stand in below the uh, bulbs insects are flying they scream and run away an ant coming huh they are already on the cot <laughs> i was surprised they scream they shout they close their eyes and ears we live with them <laughs> in our pocket it they the insects will be there in our sh- shoulder it will be walking uh, we don't feel we are in the amidst the forest but they feel uh, and next see then we see, understand how much that clinging to life how much is there how deep it is hmm like that maximum consciousness is there when i want to live i want to enjoy through the senses sense enjoyment is different sense organs working working that is uh, karmendriya is different from gnanendriya here gnanendriya is involved in food enjoyment and the clinging to life buddhi intellect the in eating food at least one or two sense organs the smell and Uh, tongue is involved but when i cling to my mind and sense a still higher aspect of my existence is involved buddhi i start 
anything chasing me. Hmm. How I just want to escape. So, it's a dog coming, chasing me, suppose. How I want to protect myself and then I know how much of conscious I am of that situation. It is more than eating nice food. So, one by one, karmendriya, jnanendriya, little more higher, little more higher consciousness. So, muladhara, swadhisthana, manipura, when I come. This is the maximum consciousness that I express when somebody is chasing me to kill. Intense consciousness. This is the maximum consciousness. When I go to the anahata, it expands beyond limits. First time I am with Mother Nature in her lap, independent of my karmic bondage. From Jiva Tattva, I move to the Prakriti Tattva, unimaginable dimension. I lives after lives I am in the Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura. As Jiva Tattva, holding to Jiva Tattva, bound by Jiva Tattva, I have no escape. I am limited by these three bodies to the waking state. First time this whole three bodily existences, they layer. I am living and expanding like bird flying in the infinite space. So first time I experience the mother's experience in Anahata. When I cross the Manipura, the expansion begins. My Jiva, jiva Tattva, my karmic load, my karmic bondage is released. Expansion of my existence. I exist. I shrink down in sleep. I come to the maximum consciousness in waking state. That breaks off. A new dimension. I am one with nature. Mother nature. Unimaginable differences. First time I enter into the higher levels of consciousness. Anatha. Ten petal lotus. Mm. More than double consciousness of the Muladhara. Uh, and I am in different realm of Jiva Tattva. I am leaving the Jiva Tattva all together and entering into Prakriti Tattva. The mother who has given me, provided me all this to work out my karmas, I am entering into her field mm. of it. First time I will see the Chaitanya manifest perceivable by me. Same senses, same intellect, same mind. I am seeing Chaitanya first time. And I see with the form. Rupa, Rupa Darshana. Just imagine how it would be. Suppose you enter into Anadha Chakra level and experience the nature and God present perverted. First time you will see what is God you will understand. What is Chaitanya you will understand there. Till then it is like a blind man thinking of light. He understands something of light called light is there. May people say they see. Uh, but we don't understand what is seeing. Here you practically see. Practically enter into that state of existence where you are able to see the matter and spirit clearly different from each other. Now with the same which was observing here, the same intellect, same mind, same senses, you are seeing the uh, how much of purification it must have undergone to enter into the all. That's why I Again, tell the sadhakas, don't care for the small things. Love God. Should I do this? Should I do that? Leave that, those things now. If you want sincerely seek, you are seeking God, then how much of japa should I do? How much of time I should work? All this give up. 
Let the body be working in the body. Start, let your heart start loving God. In and through all activities, let the life be going on as it was going on earlier. Attending to all things, give your heart to God. How the two lovers love, live in the world and love each other. Doing all the duties like that, you must be able to. This alone takes you to the Anahata Chakra. It alone makes you cross the Vishu, uh, Manipura and enter into. Just as you are nearing to Manipura, the maximum human consciousness at the, in the bondage, you will see that the, you have broken the uh, already um, the Granthi, Brahma Granthi. It stands between the Swadhisthana and Manipura. You are crossing it and it becomes ascender when you enter to. Uh, it breaks up. There is a cleave formation when you come to the Manipura level of consciousness. Kundalini comes to the Manipura level of consciousness. There is a cleave, there is a separation, crack as if the, something is cracking and it separates into two bodily existence and spiritual existence then body is just an uh, just like anybody else's body no more identification with the physical body the moment you touch the anahata till then the crack will be there this is the most important period when guru gives the support crack is there you cannot go back. You have not touched the uh, anahata. A few weeks of time, we are like uh, hanging in between the Manipura and uh, Swa, uh, Su, uh, anahata. It's a hanging. It is. It has cracked out, and you have passed through it. You are passed through the cracks. The cleave, you know, rocks you see, cleave formation. You come out in our well and all, through the cleaves of the um, stone, water comes, seeps down. We come through that and when we touch the anahata, get the vision of God, it falls off. That is spiritual awakening, entering into Vijnanamaya Kosha, entering into Heart, Radhaya, uh, entering, touching the um, lotus of the heart, that is the Anahata, all mean the same. So, you have to touch that, enter into it. Then the body, when you come back, you no more identify with this body. Hmm. These are some... Uh, Actually, you pass through these states, and the one who has written this, uh, this, this, he must have passed through all these states, and at every level, you will see, understand. As you are crossing, you will understand. Oh, it was mother. Again, you see, there is a door and. No entrance is possible. There again, like a material world, you see. When you see the, when you cross the uh, Muladhara, uh, you see, oh, it was all play of Divine Mother. Mother, mother had become that. But I am in the Swadeshtana, and Swadeshtana, this looks like a huge mountain I cannot uh, climb. I cannot break through. It looks. Uh, when I see back, it is Divine Mother. I don't understand. Swadhisthana also is Divine Mother. And I can pass, I, could not, I cannot understand. I cannot see. When I cross the each chakra, I see, oh, it was Divine Mother I passed through. When I see back, because it is poured into me, 
it's coming with me. It's each chakra when I cross, the earlier chakra merges in the upper chakra. It doesn't leave it behind. And as I come down, we in forest, we used to have um, tree houses. In tree house, as I go up, I pull the lower rung in my hand and climb up. Or after going, I pull the, because animals should not climb. <laughs> so rope, two ropes, we tie the rung and we climb and pull the um, ropes. All the rungs come up and we take it inside and close. Uh, there will be only sticks tied to each other with small holes. Insects can come, animals cannot come. Mm. So like that, as we climb up, the lower uh, level of consciousness merges in the higher level of consciousness. Mm. The naval Manipura, the blue ten petal lotus, you see. Mm. The heat has a specific color. These colors we see in the um, uh, most of the uh, this one um, pictures there's printed pictures and in uh, internet and all that now whatever comes they give the vip gayar hmm. that is the uh, spectrum as if but it is not exactly that uh, um, that uh, uh, from um, we, we, what we uh, 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 red red to violet violet to red little by little uh, it is given hmm. but it is not exactly that when we go actually see it it's entirely different field the color code is that way is all right for scientific understanding, but actual understanding is entirely different. Hmm. And small differences from each jiva, how and what it observes. Hmm. Suppose uh, a jiva might not be able to perceive a particular uh, degree of uh, the exact degree of uh, its uh, color it may be slightly shading down or shading up a may person may be see, able to see the bright it is suppose red maybe intensely red it is uh, visible to him for another it may be dull red hmm. it, because it's consciousness but it's a revelation, revelation. Uh, but the colors that we experience is not exactly that. It's entirely different. That's why we have to go back to the some authentic source in the scriptures. Because what we actually experience is inexpressible. Hmm. Uh, suppose it's very difficult to say what exactly because it is beyond the mind and senses we enter into a field beyond the mind and senses how to convey it now suppose there is a pain uh, another person who has never experienced a pain how to make him understand there is a pain for example headache people used to say I have got severe headache this headache that I never experienced headache Till I was in the fine, almost final year of my uh, college graduation, I did not know what is headache. People used to say, they cannot explain to me what is that headache means. Uh, yeah, I used to think it may be like pay, leg pain, we used to walk, suppose I walk 30 kilometers, uh, something like that. That pain of walking is strain, 
is different from headache which is then one day i had to dive in the swimming pool hmm. from 10 feet i was accustomed to dive from 20 feet also the first opening somebody has to dive so i i opted and from 10 feet i took a dive and extremely cold water but it should not affect me uh, first dive and uh, first time i experienced headache when i came out my head was shooting three days and three nights it remained then i understood what is that headache means <laughs> like that exactly what we experience cannot be conveyed but it is an experience this headache experience it pertains to the mind and mind cannot convey to the another mind what it is experiencing hmm so suppose a person has experienced already i can relate it but intensity may differ uh, i have pain in the knee another person also has pain in the knee uh, you understand what i tell but may not be same type what i experience and what that person experiences it may be entirely different and it depends upon how much is my tolerance if i move to tolerate more it looks light pain if my tolerance is very little then the same pain looks very intense for me like that these the color codes we experience nobody has been able to exactly tell it is like this smoke color we say what is that smoke color is it cement like is it dark smoke is it mild smoke like uh, the incense stick in the front of shrine uh, what what kind of smoke it is smoky color is it dark smoky very difficult to explain everything is illumined by consciousness it is illumined by consciousness this light is illumined by the physical light now when i see rainbow rainbow has that color hmm vibgayar now that color are there hey, look at that uh, it is illumined by light suppose i do the painting of the same thing it is different it is there is no comparison it may look alike but rainbow is rainbow and its painting is painting so exact representation so this is what we experience here blue to uh, and uh, the color fading down and intensifying and all we don't usually say see suppose i am going from manipura to anahata uh, manipura has a little darker color suppose it is blue uh, it is next color is some some other color uh, then uh, it is not tapering down into other it is not a continue we don't know what happens in between we shift from one level of consciousness to the another level of consciousness without slowly gradually expanding hmm the sometimes we land in between it is like between sleep and waking sometime you enter into tandra nidra jagrat and in between is called tandra sometimes you enter into that state you are half awake and you are half sleeping that is in between chakras there also experience some people can land there experience and go ahead it is like standing on the threshold where you experience the both chakras together hmm there it is um, but in between these are in between chakras stations where very few people will have an access to it we pass through we pass through waking sleeping sleeping waking some people will be hanging in between they can experience uh, 
yesterday, yesterday I was sleeping and you are talking something like that. Hmm. Through the pathway of Sushumna, thou dost ascend and enter the the manifested as also she, the energy that is taking the jiva to higher levels of consciousness for realization is also the same energy. You see, the whole system of the computer, whether it is hardware or software or the where it is stored, hard disk, all are working by one power, electricity. Hmm. If electricity is not there, current is not there, then none of this work. Same power is making. Uh, the software will not independently start working without an electrical backing. With the backing, they can indiv independently and collectively work. Hmm. So, uh, you can switch on the hardware, software is not there, then no manifestations in the hardware. Like that, the whole thing is... Yeah. Now, the manifestations in each level, uh, the three bodies are there. Gross, uh, hardware is there, software is there. All the three need the same energy, electrical energy, for all them to activate and bring into the working and cooperate and work in harmony with each other. Mm. The pathway so thou dost ascend and enter there. O lady of the lotuses, in lotus blooms thou dost dwell. In lotus blooms thou dost dwell. So comes the next anahata and all that. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastur